I know Johnny prayed, but I would like to start by praying. So can we just close our eyes and bow our heads? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. This is the day, Lord, where us as Christians have put aside to come and worship you. This is the day where all the angels of the heavens are glorifying your holy name. We come before you today. We would like to thank you for this moment. God, I know some of us in here, they are in their different comfort zones. I know some of us in here, God, we are in the comfort zone of depression. I know some of us in here, we are in the comfort zones of struggle. Hence, I'm saying to you, God, come down and intervene in this wonderful service so that whoever who is in the comfort zone may get a chance to see your blessings. Lord, I come before you today. Bless each and every one that is in here, God. Open the spiritual minds and ears that we may hear your word and understand it and practice it. God, I know that your word will never come down and return without doing its job. Hence, I'm asking you, God, to send all the angels of the heaven to be with us today. In the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, let me start off by greeting the rector of this parish, Father Grant, uh, Johnny, the, the worshiping team, and the whole congregation of St. Wilfred's. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, my sermon is very short. As I've said, the theme is get out of your comfort zone. Now, we have read this book of Deuteronomy. It talks about the nation of Israel after they have left Egypt. Now, this is the nation that God has chosen because they have been in the comfort of struggle. They have been in the comfort of slavery under the king Pharaoh. Now, the problem with this nation is that even though they were struggling in Egypt, they still appreciated the food and the drinks and everything uh, King Pharaoh offered them. But then now, because God loves us so much, he sends Moses to go and take these people out of their comfort zone and take them to the promised land. Now, it has been 40 years and 11 months since they have left Egypt. So now Moses writes this book recalling the great events that had occurred in between Egypt and on the road to the promised land. Now Moses tells these people how God has been obedient and loyal to them. So now he pleads with them that they should be loyal and obedient to him also. Now Moses probably remembers a song which says, there is the reason I will sing and shout, for Jesus came down and lifted us up. Now Moses is trying to tell these people of Egypt that God has blessings that they have never seen before. So now they should be patient with him. Now in verse 6, Moses 
tells this nation that the Lord, what the Lord had told him. When they were in Mount Sinai, the Lord says to Moses, tell my people that they have stayed long enough in that mountain. Tell my people that they should break the camp and move on. Now, I said the theme is getting out of your comfort zone. Now, the Bible doesn't tell us a meaning of comfort zone. But if you look in a, in a dictionary, it explains that comfort zone is the situation which you feel comfortable and you don't, you don't have to do anything new or difficult. I know that we have our own comfort zones, but we deprive ourselves from the opportunity and the blessings that God has for us. God brings hope to this nation. After so many years in the wilderness, God says, tell my people they have stayed long enough. He says they should go and occupy the promised land. Now, in the book of Joshua, you will realize that after Moses has died, God appoints Joshua to go and lead the Israelites to the promised land. Now, it doesn't mean that when you are in your comfort zone, then the blessing, it is not there. It doesn't mean that when you are in your comfort zone, then you will not get into the promised land. God says to us today, we have stayed long enough in our comfort zone, and we should break the camp and move on. I know it is difficult to step out of our comfort zones. And nobody said it is going to be easy. But we, we are blinded. We are blinded by our comfort zones. God says, I have something greater that I have for you. Now, it is time to step out of your comfort zone. So, in conclusion, I would like to say the woman with the issue of blood, if she didn't step out of her comfort zone, she would have bled to death. Now, the minute, the minute she stepped out of her comfort zone and saw Jesus, she said, I know it's going to be tough, but I'm going to touch the garment. I know it's going to be difficult, but if, if I can just touch the garment, the Bible says she kept on encouraging herself that even though I'm sick, but if I can just touch, even though I'm, I'm, I'm weak, but if I can just touch, because Paul say, when I'm weak, it is when I'm strong. If I can just touch, if I can just touch the, the, the garment of Jesus, then I will be healed. The minute she stepped out of her comfort zone, something that has been bothering her for 12 years was now healed. Now, it is time, it is time to step out of our comfort zones. God says, I've seen you have, you have been in the mountains for a long enough. Break the camp and move on. Go and occupy the land in Canaan. My, bro, my, my dear congregants, there are blessings, there is success, there is great achievements that the Lord has for you. It is time, it is time to break the camp and move on. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.